welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day, turn the machines and live forever. Here go, I'm alive. I made it all the way back around here to Sunday. Who would have thought I would have made it this long? Uh, another week is the beginning of the week or weeks cycles of uh, never ending and beginning things. Hi, Freddy. Hey, thanks for having me on the show. I'm here today on the program. I'm over here on the couch. Uh, Rick's going to walk over to the couch. Yeah. I'm already here. I'm here. I'm the guest. I've been doing like, uh, like Wait. entrances, like, like. Putting on my shoes, yeah. taking off my jacket. Yeah, yeah. I should like get some shoes and jackets and stuff. Maybe I could have a uniform. We got enough room for some of that stuff in here. I got plenty more space. <laughs> more space. Yeah. Um, we like. I'm sure I get like a suit or something. I'm not a suit, but like maybe just like the clothes I would be wearing anyway. Yeah, but then just like change the, or like the same clothes or like a like a jacket or uh, when people when people think I'm doing these hat. hours every day, like uh, not every day but every like multiple days and not not doing it different days, but wear the same outfit. Right. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I'm gonna get an outfit, then I'm gonna get a silly outfit and then just sit here with a uh, um like one of those propeller hat beanie hats. Yeah. And then sit. Like, uh, hi, viewers, and you're like putting on a clown hat, yeah, and big nose, and it's like I just wanted, I wanted to wear, his, I wanted to put on things, but I didn't want to, but so now I look weird, yeah, like, and it wasn't, I didn't want to wear the things, I just wanted to put them on, but here I am, because you can't, uh, you can't put on things without wearing them. That's true. I just wanted yeah. the, the 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 props of. of Maybe maybe what I'm doing is now fine, just doing the pretending. Otherwise, it's the emperor's new clothes, putting on new new clothes, but it's nudity. Yeah, take off my clothes and show nude. Da, 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 walk over there, start the show, and then we want to take a step from over here to over here. In TCTV, they had a naked preacher show. Actually, yeah. that was like a, that's a big history of the program that actually formed a lot of the rules that define what you can and cannot show on TCTV. The naked guy? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Because like. You know, it's like supposed to be all about free speech, obviously, and it is. Like, um, but then. Oh wow! You gave me a, dem a second double. Oh, you could feel it. You even said. So we went to Demo Burgers. Is uh, yeah. one of the things that um, there was another Demo Burger pop-up happening, which tells me that it's still there's still time to vote, I guess. Probably. Mm. You know, you ordered a single. Oh, I wonder if uh, they got them mixed up. And Dan got a single. Dan, who uh, oh, used to work at yep. the, the Voyeur. I bet that's what it is. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, I got him mixed up. Sorry, I mean, Dan. Him. I think. Mean, yep. It's actually the um, fancy cheese too. Uh oh. Wait, does it come with cheese if you don't? It come like they they're offering like fancy cheddar. Oh, what? I paid for a fancy cheddar. I thought it wasn't going to come with cheese if I didn't. Oh, maybe I didn't use them. Um, what? Did you get the fancy cheddar? I have no idea. I got cheese on it. Well, it's like American cheese and cheddar cheese. Like American cheese is much more melty and smooth. The cheddar cheese is like more thick. Oh. I don't know. Was it regular? Was I'm not sure what I got, but hmm. What is this that I'm eating? Oh yeah, this is the cheddar. Same. Oh yeah. So the naked preacher, he, uh, it was part of his religion to be nude, I suppose. At least that was his story. Hopefully, hopefully that's true, and he wasn't just sort of like abusing the the rules to uh, be like an exhibitionist on television, but. He would like do actual sermons about religious topics in the nude in Studio A at TC. Oh, what? Like it wasn't just that he was like filming it at home. Yeah. He was actually coming to the studio, disrobing in the studio, and doing a naked preaching. 
Whoa. Man, I wonder if anyone still has copies of that show. Uh, you you saw it as a kid, right? Or no? I don't remember that. It, it's definitely part of the like uh, cultural tapestry of, of TCTV. Because they talk about it even today in the, in like the training classes and stuff. Just because mm-hmm. like uh, basically it defines the difference between indecent and obscene. Where indecent is like a naked guy teaching the Bible. And obscene is like, I guess, like actual sex for like... Or maybe be like... Maybe like sex ed versus like pornography or something, basically. Yeah. Like one's for like another reason, and one is for like like to be like ooh sexy or something. I think that's obscene, maybe. To like do it just for the sake of its own like yeah. uh, self. So anyway, naked preacher, emperor's new clothes, back to the thing, putting on the thing, sitting down, tying your shoes, untying them. Yeah, gotta wear clothes sometimes. Yeah, there's only a little bit of clothes between you and the world, but uh, I've never actually gone out naked. No, definitely not. Well, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I've never seen anybody fall on naked either on the street. I don't think I have. Have you? I've seen a lot of uh, butt crack. A lot of butt crack. A lot of butt crack. <laughs> <But> no, <laughs> you remember the guy that was had his whole butt out? Did I tell you about that. He was at the <laughs> well. He was like passed out and almost getting drowned in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh wow. This was a couple months ago. Must have been May. Yeah. And I went to the well, and there was a guy, like, laying down, and his face was, like, almost in the puddle, like, and I, I moved him. I kicked him. I was like, hey, get out of that puddle. You're going to drown, like, in a puddle. Yeah. So that would not be a good way to go. You didn't tell him about his butt being out, or? No, his whole butt was out as if he did it on purpose. Like, his whole pants were down. The butt was out. It was weird. Hmm. But I was more concerned about the drowning. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, focusing on the right thing. And the butt being out was evidence that maybe he wasn't going to uh, not drown in a puddle. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, true. Yeah, it's like actually a puddle would pose a possible danger to this guy. Yeah. Like, you can't pull up your pants and there's a thing. Yeah, I don't remember that. I, I did watch TCTV a lot. I don't remember this guy. It might have been pretty early. It might have been like... In like the 80s. Yeah, I think it was... I think it's early in Deb's career. It was like... Because I, I know that um, she at least has been the CEO or whatever leader of TCTV for a long time. And I think that uh, it was one of her early like things where people would like actually write in and be like, Hey, you gotta get this naked preacher like off the air. He's naked on TV. Hey, you know this guy's naked? And then she says, uh, "No, we're protecting his right to free speech." So good for her. And then, uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, that. What happened? There was a guy in Seattle who was uh, smoking the, the marijuana. Oh yeah. And he also got. And that was before 2012. Right. He also got some kind of. Uh, in trouble for that. Yeah, I don't think the naked preacher really got in trouble, but I do mm. think that there was something that when we signed the contracts, it says you will not break the law on the air, apparently. Mm. So, I don't know, have we broken the law on the show yet? Um, not to my knowledge. Yeah, not on purpose. I, w- I mean, yeah, maybe we should break it on purpose, like, uh, you know, I heard that, like, pulling those m- tags off of mattresses. Yeah. It's actually not illegal. Right, yeah. Like, you're supposed to leave those on until you take it home. Yeah. And once you once you own it, then you can take it off. Yeah. But that seems like it would be, like, the, the easiest illegal thing. Or, like, uh, uh, burning a flag or, like, the yeah. facing, like, uh, a dollar. But those are also both not true either. Yeah. Like, the dollar thing is, like, only if you're... It's only like defacing a dollar to like make a five dollar bill into like a twenty dollar bill or something. I heard they're about to um, decriminalize drugs like they did in Oregon. Really? But maybe I should go out like to the alley over here and then get some drugs and then like put it in like uh, like the the glass you know or whatever it's called like resin. Yeah. Like put a bag of like drugs, resin cast it. Oh, that's a good idea. Say, look, drugs. Yeah. 
And then you're just like having a crime all the time? Undoable drugs. But yeah. I, they're in my possession. They're, I possess them, yeah. You're like, I, <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this is hard drugs. Yeah. Sealed in plaster. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You can't get him out to do them. Like, this is my crime. <laughs> and it's like a we're charging you for possession it's like <laughs> could you really get in jail for like having like like class one drugs but like they're completely unreachable they 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 always give the numbers they're like we're charging you with like 40 grams of whatever yeah I'm like you can't weigh this it's in a thing you don't even know but I'm gonna wave, wave it at the police uh I was actually yeah, thinking about keeping my hands up, too, when I see the police, too. Um, because uh, somebody, I, somebody I know, actually, I work with, told me I'm going to become a police officer. And I told them, I don't, like, I don't know if that's a good idea. Nobody likes you that way or something. And then yeah. um, I was going to tell them that if I ever saw them and the police officer, I'm going to tell them, I'm going to start yelling, don't shoot me. Yeah. Uh, I thought that would be, you know, that's a good thing. What did he think about that? He's not, he, he doesn't have a very good sense of humor. Oh, no. Which makes it sense that he wants to become a police officer, too. Yeah, fit right in. Because, um, he's, uh... It's not like super troopers. They don't actually have good sense of humor. He d yeah, he doesn't have a good sense of humor, which makes me want to rag on him even harder. Yeah. And then he doesn't have the humor about it, and then it's weird. He's more like that super trooper character who has no sense of humor yeah. in Super Troopers, and everyone is ragging on him all the time, but that's just like... And he's like, well, I, I, I do, he wants respect, Yeah. and that's why he's trying to become a police officer, and it's uh, not, not a good thing, but and every time you see the police, it's like, oh, like, hi, don't hi, shoot. don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot uh, me. Hello, officer, know, hello. don't shoot me. <laughs> hello, yeah. Hey, don't shoot me. Yeah. I'm watching, don't shoot, please. Please don't shoot me. Hands in the air. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's uh. Hey, when did you do the program yesterday? Yeah, no, I'm trying to trying to get back on where we, where where I even got off on us. Oh, because of that guy, getting naked. But uh, yeah, it's Sunday. Made it all the way back around. Is it the beginning of the week? It's also August. So uh, is that one of these? August. Oh, never mind. Uh, I, th I was thinking like maybe one of these weeks where it's like. The, the days and the numbers line up, but that has nothing to do with the day of the, of the week. Oh, is August a 30-day month or a 31-day month? Oh, because then it's going to be um, 4,000. Yeah, maybe on, like, September 1st. Oh, it's going to be right next to, you know, Hayakuba is coming up, actually. That's too. true. It's almost Hayakuba. Oh. Wow. Wow. Hayakuba, for the viewers who have just tuned in, is uh, September 19th. That's the day... In 2010, when the program began, and haven't yeah. missed a single day ever since. So <laughs> episode 4000 and Hayakuba are running up very closely. Tricky because 4000 is not really like one of the big landmarks. It's big. Yeah. It's like the biggest episode we'll have ever done at that up until that point, numbers-wise. But um, well, maybe Hayakuba well, is like more of a big deal. It's five know. five thousand is one though, right? I think. Yeah, five thousand is definitely one. So yeah. In a thousand more days, which is actually just three more years after that. Yeah. Just four more years after that, I have a whole new exciting time. Yeah. Uh, big landmark. Um. Yeah, August, but it's uh, yeah August, and then yesterday on Saturday I was here. Uh, must have been in the, in the evening around. Seven ish, because I did ride that 8:45 bus back to my residence last night. So I do the program here at around seven. I was talking to Yellow Fellow. Was there? Were you there yesterday? Yesterday, I don't think I was. I was in a. I was taking a graveyard walk with Madeline around that time. Mm, not like a graveyard shift. Graveyard walk in the daytime. Found a really old Fred who was born in the 1860s and died in 1940s. Whoa. His name was Fred Werner or something like that. We are Werner. In the graveyard near my house. And uh oh, I already ate a double burger for a guy here and I'm full Um yeah, yeah, I think I was talking to Yellow Fellow and my brother. Uh, and Mark. I think I was talking to Mark yesterday. Oh yeah, Mark is getting pretty wild. Mark, you watching this on TV? 
Last I heard, I heard him a couple of days ago on the episode. He was getting the vaccine, though, for sure, right? Him well, he said that in the past. Yeah, he said this so. time he's not lying about it. <laughs> uh, he's done lying about it now. We'll see. We'll see what I, I will. I'll believe it when I. Well, is he trying to get regular? Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. He should not do that. Don't well, get regular. I think that he, Mark is getting off of some of his medication. Uh huh. And it's making him ornery. <laughs> You know, oh. he, I mean, he told me this that uh, he, he was on medication because he was fighting. Oh, you know that? yeah. Like maybe he's fight. He was getting fighty. But yesterday oh. he was saying more. He said more than one. Um, kind of like a uh, uh, bigoted thing. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Oh man. I, I don't remember what the first one was, but he gets into that sometimes. Yeah. He's an old timey. Lacy guy, uh, I don't know what to do when that happens. It's uh, I mean, I think you do a good job. You at least don't let it just slide. Yeah. Uh, it's a big, bigoted remark. Yeah. That's a bigoted remark. Yeah, Mark, don't say that kind of thing. Or don't think that kind of thing. Anyway, both. But then it, should I be like, Mark, you're bad. You're, uh, no, I'm never talking to you again. Mark, I don't. You're big. <laughs> I just like, uh, that's a bigoted remark. Yeah. That is a. Yeah, that's that enough, is, right? That is a. Uh, that is like a racist statement. Yeah. Um, Everyone likes to hear that word racist, really, though. So yeah. bigoted, bigoted is like easier to like be like, oh, it's bigoted. Oh, I got to. Well, he was saying things against other things other than race as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. So further bigoted. Bigoted in general. Yeah. General bigotry. Um. Yeah. Nobody's gonna get a T-shirt that says "Proud Bigot." <laughs> yeah. You don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm a proud racist. Uh, then he was doing that stuff, but he's also like <laughs> his friend. His friend had broke, like messed up his guitar a little bit. He was cursing a lot, just in general. And then in the cursing, and then he used other words that are farther along than cursing that I don't, I don't appreciate. Uh, yeah. But then he was also mad. Then he was back and forth. He said he's gonna get the vaccine, but then I don't know if he's gonna get it. Uh, my brother was there, Yelfo was there, Yelfo was last day with Jarvis. Oh, Jarvis. Yeah. After the program, I rode my, oh no, I rode the bus. I rode the bus to my residence because it was before 8.45. I don't know what I'm going to do today because the other bus is 8.45 and it can be 7.45. Oh man, I don't have much time. I got like six minutes before I really should hit the road. Oh yeah, well that's probably going to go over the couch time. Yeah. What else happened? Well. Rib my rib my the bus with the bus up to my residence. Uh to go lay my head on a f Saturday. I'm reading off mice and men, I'm almost done with it. I'm like I'm pretty sure I'm in the last chapter of the book. I'm reading like a chapter at a time. And then I will and then I, and then I maybe you're gonna read that book you told me to read. Yeah, because I'm good supposed job. to read it's short supposed to read this next one in my mind. I'm, well, this next book come out, comes out on August 3rd. It makes me want to read it immediately for some reason, but there's other things. I mean, there's so much in the world to read or to do. But I'm going to watch this like, or read it immediately. Maybe I should wait a few days. Uh, or at least I should finish this one. So then if I if I keep reading, like I'm reading fiction and nonfiction, uh, that way I have like a firm grasp of, on reality. Yeah. You know, if I read two fiction books in a row, there's a chance. I might, yeah, there's a chance I might lose grasp on reality. Yeah. Like, what's real anymore? I don't know. Stories, fiction, like, so I'm going to read this nonfiction one next, and then I'll read the other one. Uh, and it's some sleeping. I woke back up today, and we went to the river. The Deschutes River. Yeah, which is kind of scary for me in a way. I've, we, I've, I, I didn't take a shower yet. Yeah, I kind of feel gross. We were all in the water. I even picked up garbage from the water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I wonder if but I... It was beautiful. I mean, it, we was saw a it was very nice. Oh, yeah. yeah turtle turtle right. in real life. Um, a child, right as we were about to get into the water, a child had, like, caught not only a garter snake that he was holding in his hands, but, like, also had caught somehow, like, tadpoles that were halfway between frog and tadpole. They had legs and tails. Yeah, that was they weird. Were pretty big. They're, like, maybe as like, big as my fist. Tadpole size. Frogs have bones. Yeah, definitely. They do? Yeah. Soft bones? 
I, I think they're hard. I mean, that's like sort of the whole idea of the yeah, bone. Yeah, that's what the bones are for. But then I, like, th- I can't think of it. I think if it's a soft bone, that's pretty much just cartilage, I guess. Yeah. But they, but they got tails, bones in their tails? Uh, Do tadpoles have bones, though? Um, no. Maybe a tadpole is just muscle? I don't Maybe know. Tad- they might have a skull. That makes sense. Yeah. Where do the bones come from? They just, like, grow the bones from nothing. Yeah. Because they're, like, an egg, and then they're a tadpole, and then they're, like, halfway between, and then, like, babies have, like, growing pains when they have teeth. They're, like, teething, and, like, it hurts to put yeah. your teeth in. But they already have their whole, like, skeleton, more or less. It just has to, like, get bigger, I guess. Yeah, well you got to uh, grow your whole bones. Yeah, when you, like, start with nothing. Is that a metamorphosis? It might be. <laughs> yeah, it was a, a tail. I never, I don't ever seen a frog with a tail. Halfway between a baby and that that kid had a snake and was chasing his mother. Oh yeah, his mother did not like snakes. Kid likes snakes. He uh, rode the river down for I don't know how long, long t- long ways it felt like, when an yeah. hour maybe at least. Yeah. And then every single you'd like go. Most of the time it was like in pure nature. You wouldn't see anybody at all. You're just kind of like floating past what looks just like a forest or a jungle. But occasionally you'd go past areas of, where it's like a beach and there's people out there listening to music or like throwing uh, toys for their dog and like listening to music, cooking stuff, I don't know, whatever. Um, and it was all these really interesting little like slices of life. You're like, it felt like a ride, like uh, what, like Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Like jungle cruise. Jungle cruise, little dioramas or something along the along the edge. Or that president, Hall of Presidents. I saw one where the lady was like yelling at presumably her child. On the phone? <laughs> yeah, that, I, I saw that was a weird. So she was like, you apologize to your grandmother. <laughs> I didn't raise you like that. Yeah. And it kind of sounds like you did raise them like that because yeah. you're yelling. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All her friends were standing around, kind of like being like, mm-hmm. while she's like yelling at her child on yeah. the phone. I want to say, or he gives splash with Warren. So don't yell at your kids. Yeah. Or the guy who is throwing the ball for his dog. He's like uh, talking to his friend about how he's like, my dog's really smart. It's a very smart breed, but you got to train him. He's like, throws the ball. He's like, go get the ball. Go get the ball. The dog like just like stood at the edge, like looking at the ball, didn't <laughs> yeah. want to go in the water. <laughs> Eventually, he did though. No, the other dog had to go get it. Oh, it was, it was yeah. The dog went and got the oh, ball. He's working yeah. on training and didn't work out. Yeah. Lots of things on the river though. You see a lot of things. Got to see like a lot more people in his least scary version of like seeing a bunch of people hanging out as in a while because you're like not close to them and you're like not they ignore you like you're an observer. Yeah. Very interesting. Outside. Uh oh. 6.40. Yep. Well, maybe catch time's over anyway. Yeah. Let me get on the phones and stuff. I'm going to get right. it back to get on your thing. On t- in t- I got to go to the night drawer. Yeah. I came down here. I got to ride my bike up. I only got 20 minutes, so. All right. Well, hopefully you got lots of phone calls. And, uh, we can oh, we do a good long cou- couch time longer than normal. Thanks, Freddie. Thank you, Rick. Thanks, viewers. Talk to you later. Let's see. Oh, yellow fellow left another text. And a few messages, too. His new, uh, 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 oh, no, this is the same text from yesterday. But he did leave a good amount of voicemails. I'm going to listen to him call my brother. Oh, I gotta line up these pills too. What would I do with my burger? Pretty full. I eat all these pills. What? What? Back as soon as you can. Oh, is it working? Thank you. Working? Hand out! Hand out! It's a program. Where are you? Working? You can call us back. You have about uh, 35 minutes today. I thought you uh, were going to be there. Okay, bye.
All right. Oh, I'm gonna play this message while I get my pills going. Maybe we'll call him eventually. You can call the number up there. It's three six zero three six four three eight four. You can get onto the meet. Um, I'm back from my walk with Jarvis. Uh, there's a Reese's commercial on TV, the chocolate. I like that, kind of. It's a good thing, but it's more of a bad thing, because then I just worry about my health after eating candy. And, uh, I worry about my teeth and the sugar. So it's more of a bad thing for me. Um, to eat candy. Uh, I can do without it just fine. Uh, Jarvis wants some fresh water. Jarvis, you're not going to eat treats until you eat your dog food. He wants treats all the time. My shoulder still hurts a little bit. Ow! <laughs> Why? Ow, my shoulder... Why does it feel better? What happened to your shoulder? Yeah, Jarvis, some fresh water. All right. Turn off the faucet. And did I just get an email? Did I? No. I didn't. I got a message on my phone. Jarvis is drinking. You can hear him. I don't know. Right, Jarvis is drinking some water. I'm standing around in the kitchen. And I'm a little bit hungry. Um, good boy, Jarvis. You're a good boy. We got eight pills. And... Yeah, what should I eat? I kind of want a burrito. You make me want burritos. Because you're always eating burritos and stuff. Maybe I'll get Chinese food or something. Maybe I won't. I like burritos. Maybe I'll go to my mom's. And just cook myself food there. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just eat a can of soup. A cold can of soup. Maybe I'll do that. And cut my hair. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll eat a cold can of soup. Cut your own hair? Yep. I might do that. Cold soup. Ow! Just ran into the wall. You look out for the wall. Toothpaste. What's my toothpaste in the bathroom? Walls are big. Hey. Hey. What's going on? Um. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> I'm uh, having yeah? a bad day. Why? Just don't feel good. Oh. Feel not too good. How are you feeling? I feel fine. Good. You know, people have ups and downs. Feel a little down. There's no instructions on this one. How many am I supposed to be eating? Pills? I had some friends over last night and we watched uh, No Country for Old Men. Uh, I don't like when I put a movie on and like, like I understand like paying little attention, like not paying much attention. 
like it makes sense. People are very they want to watch a movie. They don't really want to. Don't want to hang out with me. Want to watch a movie. But sometimes when you want to show a movie to people, and they like hardly pay attention, it's annoying because they've made me watch movies before. Yeah, you gotta put on a worse movie. They want me to see. So I pay attention, but they're like, eh, can not really be bothered. And then afterwards, the guy was like, yeah, it was okay. Like, all right, you didn't even fucking try to take it in in any in any real way. I mean, it's not a good movie, maybe it's but for whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Come made some coffee. Mmm. Coffee. Drinking some coffee. It's good coffee. Good coffee. Good coffee. And I'm cleaning up in the kitchen. Mmm. Yum. Good coffee. Yum. Good coffee. Okay. Good coffee. And now, gotta clean up a little bit. Clean up in the kitchen. And, uh, bye. Hi. I'm, uh, on another walk with Jarvis. You know, it took me a while to get outside today. Um, I have found some coffee at the house I'm watching. Good coffee. So good. Travis, come on. Good to finally have some coffee. You like a the Japanese maple tree I'm looking at? It's like falling o- falling over. Looks like they have some wires like pro- uh, put into place to try to pull the tree in the other direction. Japanese maple. Aren't you Japanese? I think you are. I think you're Japanese. Um, I see that Pokemon ball again. Come on, Jarvis. You smell and smell. Um, he's happy to be outside. I had my friends over. And they watched No Country for Old Men. And then I put the Elephant Man on, but they didn't stick around long enough to watch that. I never saw the Elephant Man. Um, I'm gonna have to watch that one of these days. <laughs> completion. Uh, still feeling pretty oh, no, 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 no. Like, restless lately. Uh, not ideal. That's what the elephant man says. Was it Thursday? You can care of this dog for how many days? It's Sunday, Monday, uh, four days. And got like three more to go. Yeah, that's that right. What's happening here? Why, why is there a school bus? Isn't it July? Oh, weird. There must be some sort of reason for it, right? I mean, of course, you don't just see a school bus for no reason. Uh oh. Dog dropping a warrant cleaned up that Jarvis is inspecting, now he's smelling a tree. It's a little like the development. A bunch of row homes. Row homes? Yeah. I'm pretty full. I ate two, two double, double burgers. Hello, hey, Hi. I'm watching Your uh, Daily Hour with me hey. from 2018. Hey, what are you up to? 
and I think you're talking to Dan Dobler. Yeah. I locked my uh, keys in the car today. I heard about that. Um, no? No? There's a guest on the show quacking and stuff. Doc. They're not going woof, woof. See this on your dog. Quacky yeah. dog. dog, huh? You're no. asking Dan Luke to blur if he's on his dog. Hey, uh, take time to us. But, um, I'll talk to you later. You're hanging up on Dan Dobler. He didn't stay on the phone for some long. Dan did not see a dog, any dog or duck. Oh, yeah? You guys talking about Where's beavers? Where are the beavers? Beavers and ducks and dogs and. Wait until my grandmother and my brother up. have to use an answer. It's like you're eating a burger. I'm eating a burger right now. <laughs> I'm getting the meat sweats. Oh, maybe it's just hot. Hi. Hi. Um, I had a Dunkin' Donuts breakfast. Uh, I'm running late. Or, hold on. Hold on. Yes, hello? Yeah. Hello? Yep, 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 yep. Driving. Driving my car. On the highway. And... I don't know if you want to get... Highway? Yeah, I mean, no, I am. You're doing a good job. By the Mr. Turn. So I'm being safe. I'm being a safe driver. Oh. Wait, I can't turn here. My head hurts. I need more caffeine. This Dunkin' Donuts coffee, like, it used to help me more. Like, I used to feel the effects, the effects of the caffeine more in the past, I think. No, you're... I'm going to help at a race. I signed up for like a random gig. And I'm late. You're late, I'm late gig? for it. So, people going into the weed store. Bravo? You got running around. I thought it was illegal. No roll the windows down a little bit. My car. Uh, the restaurant is called Pizza Time. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if it's a chain. We got Pizza Times out here, but it sounds like a pretty common name, possibly. Well, a large pizza for $7. Whoa. What a bargain. Nope. 
There is actually. Yep. There's another there calendar. Thirty first. Huh? Okay. Bye. Bye. There is August thirty first. Try to turn in twenty, like four things or something. There's some kind of for a lot of things. It's it's very hot today, but it's only uh, eight. I heard it's going to be way hotter. So if you're watching this, probably through these days, it's going to be getting hotter and hotter. As you can see, uh, if you're watching this in a few yeah, days, don't remind me all of these all week. Stay hydrated. Stay cool. Future. I'll drink water. I said that. Thanks for the past. Bye. Bye. I mean, pizza still. So. This is the first day of August. It's hot. It's getting hotter and hotter. Thank you for being you and alive and everything. Bye. My pleasure. Thank you. Of them in this time that you spent between the uh -oh, things going too far. Uh, remember how you were uh, happy on happy on what? I'll find out tomorrow. Ugh. All right, Drake or Yofo. Yofo doesn't answer, we're going to record messages of the future and then we get to the moment. I lost the bottle cap just now. We need that. Uh. Hello? Yofo! Hello. Hey. Good morning. Are you awake? Oh. I just I just put the bottle cap from my big bottle on my small bottle, and then I was like, "Where is my bottle cap?" And I was looking around for it. It was right on the small bottle. I just fumbled with the bottle cap too. Yeah. What 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 happened with your bottle cap? Recently. Like uh, like. Three minutes now. I fumbled with it for uh, for like ten seconds in my you, car. Yeah, what happened? Did you then, uh, did you drop it? That was about like a minute ago. <laughs> so, oh, you got the ah! I dropped it and then I found. Did I scare you? Are you can you hear me? I try. Hello. I don't know why it's not working. I tried to scare you. Yeah, yeah, it almost worked. Oh. I'm very tired. It's breaking up a bit. Have you been drinking? No, I'm just really tired and... Uh, no, I haven't been drinking. I mean, did, did the tiredness give you the hiccups? Uh oh, Lion, the lines are not working too well for some reason. I think it's you, not me. What's not working? The, what? probably, I mean, I'm in the country. Yeah, it's probably you. Um, yeah. Are you, are you, are you, are you back at your home after, because Jarvis is done, right? You're done with that? Uh, well, I don't know, maybe it's not working too well. I'm going to record a message to the future. It's not working for you too well. And then, hey, future, it's us the past. Future, you know, I, on, I ate a lot of waffles and um, at a party, and it was not good because I, I have an upset stomach. I went to the river. I ate two demo burgers. Very full. Uh, Freddie was here talking about uh, that nude guy on TCTV. Goodbye, future. What was Freddie talking about? The, there was this guy in the 80s who used to get naked on TV, but we're not going to do that. He was getting naked on TV. Well, you hurt your shoulder and you hurt your hand, right? I've been listening to some of your messages. Message What did you do to your shoulder? During, uh, that was last year. Um, 
I fell off a picnic table. <laughs> How'd you do that? Uh, I was standing up on top of it. Why? Because uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Were you drunk? Yeah. Yep. And then you fell off of it, huh? Yeah. Cause you, what, what, were you, were you dancing or did you just couldn't get stand? My friend pulled me off of it actually, Luke. Oh, Luke. And uh, he was just like, oh. He was messing with you. Oh, no, this really hurts. And uh, um, yeah. And he was kind of like in denial. He's like, oh, you're okay. But I was like, no, this is, like, bad. And it was bad because I still feel it. You go to the doctor? Yeah, I probably did some, like, no. Still what I'm about right now. Is it better yet? How about how about your uh, your hand? I think that was earlier today. You're breaking up. It's breaking up. But yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, my hand. Oh, it's coming in and out. What happened? What? I hurt my hands this week. What'd you do to your hand? I heard it here. Doing what? Well, I was driving my car and then something. Driving your car, your hands started hurting. <laughs> yeah, there's something in between that, but I don't oh. want to talk about it. Well, what, what happened? I want to know. My trouble. Because it like smashed. Uh, well, I don't know. It's breaking up a little bit, but uh, I'm, I'm looking at this, some of these messages from the past. You can hear them. Oh, okay. Um, Let's listen to me. Yeah, we'll see how I many you've been on a good amount of them. We're going to go back to... Oh, oh, you mean the messages from the past? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Let's listen to them. Yeah, from the last two weeks, I think I want to look at. Oh, okay. Let's do it. It's been a while since I looked at these. It was last Saturday. Today's Sunday. We'll go back one more week. Let's get caught up. Saturday. Oh, so yeah. Last Sunday, I didn't put Saturday on the thing. Last Saturday was was that day oh, you that have to, you have to put my last summary in. I didn't do that. You didn't do it for the quesadilla quesadilla episode. Oh. Uh, and um, then I'll have to put one. I'll have to make one for yesterday. Yesterday's and today. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh I'm almost. Uh, we try to regulate Rick's vitamin intake. Is that yesterday? That no, that was the that was for the quesadilla episode. I got demo burgers today. The do like a pop up or whatever uh, over there and uh, Ian's here. Is that an emergency vehicle? Ian Paul does your phone. Yeah, mm. I do. Sorry, bud. It's a Sunday. Uh, my future. My future. Is that emergency vehicle fire there or is that in the message? That was here. Fire truck. There's a fire truck outside. Oh. Uh, hey, hey, future. It's my little past. brother's birthday. Hi, today. future. Yeah, past. which one? John, what do you have to say to the future? What'd you do? I went to my dad's house and he got a. My cousin has like a savory and sweet. Uh, waffle truck. He hired him right, uh -huh. to like be there, and they were like okay. They weren't great. I don't know. I don't love a waffle. Get the vaccine, my future. Yeah, it was like a waffle like pocket thing. What? What? Oh, sorry, you're doing your messages. I, I'm interrupting. Waffles is bread. Future says the past. Yeah. Talk to you. Yeah, little fellow about Space Jam I'm trying to fix this battery charger. Uh, it's Andrew's birthday. Lost mine. You find it yet? Where is it? Did, Did you get him a water? birthday present? Water? Yep. Yeah. Bye-bye, future. Hi, 
Hello, future. James got a spider bite and had to go to urgent care. Oh, what's that? Life is a simulation, and the moon is beautiful. What is real? It's, it's one. It's a uh, hollow. Moon is in the keys. Okay. It's Wednesday. Okay, bye, future. <laughs> Did you do one for, um, for, let's see, show us the past. Hey, for Thursday, the trying to be a regular person How episode? did you eat today? It's Thursday, it's a, uh, people are out doing stuff, We're talking to Andrew, eating chicken, watching Final Tap, uh, what were, what were you saying? Bye, future. Oh. Actually, I don't know. I forget why. I think you did. I, I'm figuring this out. I'm, I put the wrong one. Because you called, you said Mark's trying to be a regular person oh, on the. I don't know, it's getting confusing. That's okay. Well, I put. Oh, and I confused you, I see. Andrew. Yeah, I put all the. Did you become a living thing yet? Does it look like a cockroach? Uh. Is it gonna attack you? What, the virus? Alright, bye, future. Yeah. My brother is saying, is the virus alive and attacking you like a cockroach yet? Just the past. Future, I need to go to bed. Uh, what do you have to say about future, Adam? Wow, that was a week ago we were talking to Adam. I did that! Hi! <laughs> Remember oh, that yeah, last week? Sure. Talking to Adam? Yep. Got Marissa. Maybe. Okay, that was a whole week ago. This happened uh, while well, grass walking in the nature of outside. It's Jarvis. It's too hot today. Jarvis. What is the disease? Uh, uh, is James, be okay. Bye, bye. Well, uh, pizza thing. Because I'm some little boys. Freddie left his gardening book here. Jarvis. Hello, future. Okay. Hi, future. Future. Jarvis, you boy. We're talking to Mississippi John and Alpha and Heather and James Monday and uh, James. I've not been on dead. the show a lot this week. Not dead. Why just yeah. Marissa, oh, like, bye future. Bye future. Pass, bye, bye. pass. Pass. Bye pass. We're the future. Pass. We're the future. He has toy in his mouth. We're yeah, we're the future. Oh, Jarvis. Hey. Children of the future. Oh, yeah. Uh, Goodbye forever, Jarvis. Jarvis. The burrito was not good today. It was good uh, today. Goodbye, I believe forever, the children of the future. Bye, future. Jarvis is Children of the future. Future says the past. Hey, Wednesday. Oh, we're doing the message for the future. Yeah. I'm going to get a haircut. And Did you get a haircut? Yeah, probably. How'd you hurt? One I'm, I'm gardening. How'd you hurt your hand? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Did Luke ever yeah, apologize never. for your shoulder? No, never really owned it. I don't think he wants to take that responsibility of being like the reason why I have like a bad shoulder problem, you know. He pulled you off of there as a joke? Yeah. Yeah, And now I like, every once in a while I like flare up, it'll be like, ah, yep, this shoulder pain that I'm probably always gonna have. You landed on it? Yeah. And I like, think I heard like that. <laughs> oh no. Doing good. Heard it. Bad. No good. Yeah. It's scary to think of all the, like the or weird stuff, the weird juicy stuff you got in your body, you know? Yeah, we're very fragile beings. Remember you guys used to say... What? 
<laughs> what did we use this? Flippity floppity. Flippity floppity with your bones. Uh, how are your bones? What are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> how how are your bones? Okay, bye future. No, I'm, no seriously, bye, I'm a cheese smoker. Alright, here's today. Um, at a party and it was not good. So I, I have a upset stomach. I went to the river, I ate two dumbbell burgers. Yeah, I'm very, very full. full. Alright. Uh, How are your bones, Yopa? Uh oh. Well, you all fell, fell off the thing. Um, I kind of want to call Freddy and see if he made it. Also, we can tell him his garden book is here. Uh, hey. Billy Iris calling me. Yeah, that's right. Hello? Hey, you make it back, Freddy? I'm back, yeah, we just started the the, the, the Zoom, or the um, night drawer. Yeah. We spun the wheel, and we the prompt was trapped in a death cave. Whoa. No, trapped in, trapped in death cave, not, not a death cave. Not although Satan, that's huh? Too. What, uh, are you calling about anything in specific? You left your book here. Oh, yeah, you could uh, learn about gardening. Yeah, all right. I want to see if you made it back and that you left your book. That's okay. I haven't even started it yet. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to be there in like four, 45 minutes, 8 o'clock probably. Are you on the program right now? Still? Yes, program. Nice. We have about four Anyone minutes. else want to say hello? I got some, I got some people on the Google Meet. Hi, Kenny. Hi. Hey, Kenny. Hi. He says hi. I okay, got, well. I got four minutes. Calling. Okay, bye, Freddy. Bye. I got four minutes on here, and then we're going to be uh, done with the program. <sighs> oh, I, made, I ate the, the two burgers. I, got a, I ordered a single and a double, but I ended up getting two doubles, and it's a lot of food and to eat in a row, and I'm tired now, and the toes are probably too hot. I got to go get in the shower. Oh, driving around, driving around, and I'm driving around. This race thing, I'm going to uh, this race. Um, really nice day, I guess. The way it looks, I'm going to have Looks really nice. Oh, driving around. Great. Driving around. Show. Cool. And, um, I have a headache. It's uh, church. I see a church. An old woman walking outside. I remember when I picked up that farmer on the side of the road. I gave her a ride. You said I shouldn't have done that. Why can't, why shouldn't you do things like that? Yeah. I forget. Um. But.
Hello? Hello? Damn it. Alright. Um. I'm going through a something donut drive through. I think it's closed. Oh my god. What are your fucking hours? That's crazy. Not good. <laughs> oh, I wanted some coffee. Oh, not good. Not good. Now I have to look up for. <sighs> what? Somewhere else to get coffee on my route. Motherfucker! Oh! No! Oh, god damn. <laughs> How hard would it be to be open for me? Just for me! Hey, don't call me! Hurry up, don't! 